So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. Today I will be sharing with you all something which is very important to be known from the information perspective. Basically, it's about fake experience. Okay, so let's start the video. And before that, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. Okay, so from the past couple of days, in the comment section of my different videos on this particular channel, I was continuously asked. whether to use a fake experience or not and if it has to be used then how many years of fake experience should we take one year two year or some other number okay so i will be discussing an incident related to fake experience only so please listen carefully till the end and after watching this video do let me know your thoughts on this or have you heard of anything related to this then please share your experience plus I will also discuss what to do if you are not getting the interview calls. Okay, so please watch the video completely till the end. Okay, so what I wanted to share is recently I connected one to one with a person on TopMate, and it was a normal call regarding career guidance. So I would tell you about the person's journey, what he told to me, and how fake experience came into picture. Okay, so that person he graduated in two thousand nineteen. then just after that he started working in a startup for around 6 months and luckily he worked as a power bi developer there for 2 to 3 months out of those 6 months okay after 6 months due to his personal reasons he resigned and stopped working for around 2 years he was on a break didn't do anything then after 2 years he wanted to work again and so he started preparing for the power bi positions but since he had a gap of almost 2 years now to get the job normally and directly was very tricky right he wasn't able to get the job for around 2 months continuously so from his friends he got to know about the fake experience thing and with their influence he took a fake experience of 2 years which actually covered his gap period and he showed that he was working as a power power bi developer for those 2 years okay now with this fake experience he started looking for a job and you know he started getting the interview calls and since he prepared very well for the interview he cleared the interview in one of the top mncs okay he got a very decent pay of 8 lakhs per annum he joined and started working in that mnc happily as everything was smooth till that time after working for around 1.5 years in that mnc suddenly one day in april and this year only i i, I mean few days back only he got a mail from his hr that his background verification got failed and he can't work further in that company he was completely devastated after reading reading this mail and didn't know what to do he never expected this thing to be happening after working in that company for 1.5 years long after 1.5 years in that company this thing happened okay he had no clue he was further asked not to work even for one more day no notice period to be served nothing nothing he had to serve he just had to submit the laptop to the company and then he was free from that company since he actually used the fake experience so he didn't fight for it eventually and now he hopes that he should get the experience letter at least from that mnc which as of today he hasn't got so with this i just want to make you aware that these things are also happening if somebody is going for a fake experience consequences are very bad and yeah exceptions are always there you may find someone who has been successful using fake experience but i will never recommend anyone to use fake experience okay so now the main question is here that if you are not getting the interview calls due to the gap and all what to do okay so for that three things should be done from my opinion three things should be done first one is work on your skills add one or more relevant skills okay in the data analytics domain only add the skills so this is the first thing that you should do second thing is build a power bi project portfolio and attach the same in your resume it will be very helpful in your resume selection mark my words it will be very useful okay so this is the second thing that you have to do and the third thing is 
make your online presence on linkedin it is very very important to make an online presence on linkedin nowadays okay build your connections increase your connections and stay active on linkedin do different things what other people who are actively involved on linkedin see those people what they are doing the same thing the same kind of efforts you also have to apply so that to have that online presence on linkedin so if you do all these three things regularly then definitely it will help you to get a job soon okay so please share the video to all your friends and colleagues so that they are also aware about these kind of incidents and i hope this video would have helped many of you to clear your doubts okay thank you